What's up guys, it's Time for Tennis here, and I just strung up a racket. I wanted to show you guys this little tool, it's pretty cool. Um, this one is made by Turna, they call it the string meter, and it's just a way to basically measure the tension on your racket. So this isn't a super precise tool, like you measuring this and it says, I don't know, say it says like 48. That doesn't necessarily mean it's actually at 48 pounds, but if you measure it right after uh, the string job, and it says maybe 52, and then you measure it in four or five days and it says like 45, then you can have a good idea of how much tension was actually dropped. So it's a good way to keep track of tension loss and it's a decent way to actually gauge what tension your strings are at. Um, one thing that might be productive to do is if you string yourself or you, got, or you take it to a stringer and you know maybe just for the sake of consistency, you take it to the same shop or maybe the same person's always doing your string jobs. Um, if you get it strung at say 52 and then this thing always says 45, um, I wouldn't say that that means they didn't string your racket correctly or that it's necessarily dropping tension really quickly, but you can be sure that it says 45 every time you string it at that tension 52 just to know that you're getting the same tension each time. Does that make sense? So in that way, it's definitely useful. I'm going to get on the other side of the camera here real quick to show you kind of how it works. So it's really not that sophisticated of a tool actually. So that's what this one looks like. I think Gamma makes one too. And there's a little caliper type thing here. Hey, stay in focus, 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 focus. Come on camera, there you go, at a boy. And this is where the string gauge is. And basically you turn this to, uh, huh, it's not the easiest thing to turn. Yeah, it's better if you grab it like that. So if you have 18 gauge strings or 17, 16, it'll adjust uh, the tension accordingly on this gauge here. And this caliper part, you can uh, see there in the black raised numbers, there you go, what gauge your string is. And that will essentially just be measured by lining it up on a string here and then seeing where it ends up. So here you can see that it ends up at about somewhere between 16 and 17. So that's like 16 light. Even though these are marketed as a 16 gauge string, it's got a shape texture. So I think depending on the way that you actually line up the caliper on this triangular shaped string by a tier one, it's called Firewire, it's a cool string. Um, yeah, you can just measure that up however you want. But again, this isn't necessarily for measuring your string tension super precisely, but it is a good way to track tension loss and consistency between your string jobs. I'll show you how it works also. So basically, if you're gonna measure the cross strings or the mains, let's start with the mains. This little uh, two-prong cylindrical thing right here if you want to do the mains, you'll try to start in the center and you're going to line it up in such a way so that the top and the bottom part are only contacting the uh, main when you go to twist it. And so it's lined up and crossed like this with the main strings, right? The red ones. And you're just going to twist it until the caliper lines up in the center with the main right there. So as you can see, it says about 45, 46 pounds. I actually strung this at about 54 pounds, so, and it's reading me 46. Um, and I did the same for the crosses, which are a different string, but they have very similar tension maintenance. And I'm expecting it to be just a little lower. Yeah, it's about 41. Come on. My hands are full. <laughs> Come on, focus. Yeah, and the tension there is about 40, 41 pounds. And that's to be expected because the crosses uh, have to pull through all the friction of the mains. And yeah, you generally just end up uh, having a few pounds less in the crosses. I used to kind of be of the mindset that you should uh, maybe string the crosses, maybe two or three pounds less. But after using the tensioner tool, I see how much more um, tension there is in the mains relative to the crosses, even though you string them at the same tension. So I kind of have it in my head now that I'm just going to string at the same tension anyway, because it's already going to be about four or five, maybe six pounds less in the crosses than it will be in the mains. Again, this is a hybrid setup, so the strings are going to be a little bit different, but uh, this is a fresh string job. So, I mean, all those differences are, well, they haven't really become apparent yet because the strings haven't really lost tension over time. So I imagine one of these strings might lose tension a little bit more quickly than the other one, which is kind of the the uh, funny thing about doing hybrid string jobs, but uh, for me, typically, um, that's fine, and I'd probably break my strings before that's really significant anyway. 
Um, but yeah, if you're keeping your rackets for a month or two, um, and you're kind of a serious tennis player, you should probably get your strings cut out before too long. Anyway, before I get into a tangent that isn't exactly relevant to this video, I just want to say thank you for watching and please do like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. And I will leave a link in the description to uh, a place that you can purchase this on Amazon as well as the Gamma one in case you just prefer that. But they basically work the same way. Um, they're pretty affordable and they're just a handy tool just to keep track of tension, at least as a reference. So yeah, in that sense, I highly do recommend having one, um, but don't let it get too in your head because again, it's not a super precise tool for measuring your tension exactly, but it does help you keep track of tension loss and stuff like that. So yeah, if that's a product you want, I will leave a link in the description, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in a future video. Thank you. Black and red looks pretty sick, doesn't it? It's tier one Firewire in the mains and Black Knight in the crosses, both tier one strings. Highly recommend if you're a fan of Selenko, I think this is a string you guys should check out just as an alternative. So, yep, I will leave a link for those as well. Bye.